Have you ever wondered how color grading in cinematic films actually work? How you can go from this shot to this? Well, let's take a look at the very, very basics on how to accomplish this, but also understand of what's going on here. Hey, what's up guys, Jordy here for Cinecom and welcome to this tutorial video. The first thing that I'm going to do inside Adobe Premiere Creative Cloud is create a new adjustment layer. And I can do that with this button right here, which says new item in the project panel and just say new adjustment layer like that, guys. That will bring up a pop-up box, just press OK. And it's being added to the project panel. And I'm going to drag that above my clip in the timeline. And also I'm going to make this the same length as my clip below that, guys. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add effects to this layer and those effects will also be visible on the clip itself. And that will give me more flexibility when it comes to making adjustments later on. I think that's the reason why it's named adjustment layer. All right, guys, I'm going to select this clip and the first thing that I'm going to do is head over to effects and I'm going to search for the fast color corrector. You can already see it right here. I'm just going to search for it anyways, fast and I'm just going to scroll up a little bit. There we go inside the color correction folder of our video effects, fast color corrector. And I'm just going to drag that over to my adjustment layer like that. Now, the first thing that I want to do is lift up the saturation guys. So just scroll down within this effect and just boost up the saturation that will vivid the colors way more. Now guys, this step here really depends on what type of shot that you have. As you can see in this image right here, this was shot in a very, very low saturation. But maybe you have been filming with a camera that already boosted the saturation. Then you can just skip this step right here. I'm just going to do that because I want to have more saturation in my shot before I'm going to start with the actual color grading. All right, I'm going to scroll up. Just close this uh, effect right here, the fast color corrector. And now we can actually start with the real cinematic film look correction. And for that, guys, I'm going to search again in the effects panel right here for the three-way color correction. Right here, guys, the three-way color corrector. I'm sorry. I'm just going to drag that over to my adjustment layer like that. And this is the tool that is going to make the magic happen. All right, I'm going to scroll down, guys, and the first thing that we can see are these three wheels over here. Now, what are they for? Well, the first one here is for the shadows. I'm going to pump some blue into the shadows, and let's take a look at what happens in the image, like that. Now, we can assign a color with that, and with the yellow little bar right here, we can increase the saturation even more from that color. So I'm just going to increase that to the maximum like that, guys. And you can now see where the shadows are laying at. So right here, the car, the BMW, this guy here, his pants and a little bit here up the roof. So those are the shadows. All right, let's head over to the midtones, which is the next wheel over here. I'm going to add some green in there. Also here, I'm going to increase the saturation so that you can clearly see where the midtones are at. All right, so here are the midtones, basically the roof up here, the guy who is walking over there, etc. And then finally, guys, are the highlights, which is right here. Now, these are the white areas within your video clip. I'm just also going to assign a color to here. Let's make it a little bit pink like that, guys. And now you can see where the highlights are laying at. All right, guys, now there's one problem that we see right here that we have to fix first before we can start the actual grading. And that is the range of each level here. The shadows really stop a very abrupt right here. The same thing goes for the midtones and the highlights. So that means when we are going to add a color in one of these channels, we are going to see where it actually ends over here at the shadows and the highlights over here, guys. So the first thing that we want to do is make sure that these two channels actually fetter a little bit over each other so that it's not so obvious that this right here is the shadows, the green is the midtones, and the pink areas are the highlights. So I'm going to scroll down for that and over here we can find the tonal range definition and that's the place where we can change this guys. 
Over here, we can find the input for the highlights. And when I'm going to increase this bar right here, I'm going to change that feathering. So I'm just going to move that to the left and take a look at what the image does, guys. As you can see, the highlights and the midtones are now a little bit over each other. And that's what we need, guys. And the same thing goes for the midtones over to the shadow. So I'm also going to increase that and take a look at this area right here, guys. Something very interesting is going on here. Look at that. Now this looks a lot better, guys. Now we can work way better on the grading itself. All right, guys, I'm going to scroll back up and I'm going to reset all these colors because of course this isn't really looking cinematic. So I'm just going to reset the shadows, midtones and highlights like that. Now guys, what we want to do is add some contrast into our clip because that's the thing what makes those Hollywood films look so great, the contrast. Now, of course, we can't add too much contrast into it because we still want to see what kind of car that is. But let's start with that, guys. I'm going to scroll down a little bit again. And over here, we can find the input levels and the output levels. That means for the black right here, when I'm going to increase that, I'm going to add more blacks to the blacks. There we go. And when I'm going to use the output levels, I'm going to remove some shadows from the blacks. Like that, guys. Now, to add contrast, guys, we're going to make the blacks deeper, like this. But make sure that you're not doing this too much, guys. We still want to see what's going on here. The same thing for the highlights. Just going to increase the highlights like that. Again, make sure that it's not too much. We are already blown out here, so I'm not going to add too much of that. So I'm going to already stop right here. This is enough contrast for this shot. But, you know, still not enough for this Hollywood film that we're trying to create. So, guys, let's take a look at those wheels right here, because they can actually do some magic. You know what? Contrast isn't only in the levels. They can also be found within the colors. Because what is actually contrast? Contrast is black and white, the two opposite things. So, when we are taking a look at these color wheels, we can also find two opposite things. The blues over here and the yellows over there. Or the greens over here and the pinks over there. That is also contrast. So guys, let's create some contrast. For shadows. When you think about black things, shadows, we think about cold things. You know, when it's dark outside, it's also cold during the night. So we're going to add some blue into that. Blue gives us the feeling of coldness. So I'm going to add some blue into the shadows and don't be afraid to add much of that because we are going to lift those blues anyways afterwards. Like that, guys. And then for the highlights, guys, we are going to add that yellow, which is the opposite, which is the contrast, like that. But also, guys, we're going to do that for the midtones. So what we're actually doing, guys, is we're taking the midtones and the highlights together to add that yellow to it, like this. Look at this, guys. It already looks a lot better now. Now, guys, for my clip right here in particular, I still need to add more saturation to it because this was really shot pretty flat. So I'm going to scroll down and right here you can find an option to increase your saturation if you want to. And I'm just going to increase my master saturation until I'm satisfied. And apparently that's the maximum for this shot. And there we go, guys. This is how we can create that blockbuster effect. A great technique, guys, on how to add more contrast to your shots by just playing with the colors. All right, guys, I want to thank you a lot for watching. Make sure to subscribe to see me every week with a new video. Thumbs up this video and leave your comments down below if you have any thoughts about this. See you guys later.